todos, estamos aquí con Bullite, el AD carry de Rogue, que acaban de perder contra SK Gaming. First of all, thank you very much for being here. That was a hard match. How do you feel after it? I feel pretty bad, but I know it's fine. It's just the second week and we are actually having an okay score. The 2-2 two -two is not that bad and we're in the middle of the table right now. And Uh, we just need more time and uh, I think we'll be fine. Mm -hmm. You're performing really great uh, comparing with the last split uh, at this beginning. So what do you think is the key that the changes on the roster? What's the key for this change that you gave? I think we have better players individually for sure. And we also have better synergy in terms of personalities. Mm -hmm. We match each other very well. So it's like we are joking around a lot in the game so we're having fun you know play, playing with each other and i think that's really important when they told you that you were going to be part of the main roster how was it for you uh, i was really happy for like quick amount of time but after that i was like thinking how i can improve every day and i know it's like not gonna be forever if i start playing bad it changes my come again so i'm not really like being super happy over happy i'm just focusing on my performance and on a like daily basis so do you took it as a challenge more than a like a reward right i mean i i, I knew it's like one step closer to like my long-term goals uh, but now like ne my next step is like qualifying to playoffs and i don't want to just You know, being Alicia, I just want to uh, be in the top as well. Mm -hmm. And what are those long-term goals for you? I mean, playoffs for sure and worlds would be great. Obviously, it's like really long-term, but that's why I, I really want to go playoffs first mm -hmm. and then like see how the team does in b best of five setting. So regarding your performance in Poland, uh, what are you expecting that? Yeah, like coming um, here? I mean, uh, Yeah, I saw the team was doing really bad, like the, la the last team, so I knew changes will happen and obviously the, the other roster was was there to b back up the uh, the main roster. So if something goes bad, we have more players and Rogue mm -hmm. used that and I'm really happy for that. Uh, why are you here and not HQ? Well, I think the difference between us is not like really big at the moment. I think I just matched better with the team's play style. But obviously there is like uh, the team was playing good with Hiku as well. So I think he might get a chance as well. But mm -hmm. it's like basically it's up to me and up to him who plays. It's not like uh, uh, someone likes m someone likes me more as a person or something. No, it's all mm -hmm. about the performance and it will always be like that. So in the end is that Hiku is not performing well and you are, right? Yeah, I mean, I think we're really close uh, to each other. So it's not like, uh, you know, I'm five steps ahead of him. So so if you're like similar, what's the difference? Like exactly the difference? The play uh, style? The yeah, yeah. I think we are playing a little bit different in terms of play style. Like I think I'm better in aiming phase and Hiku is like smarter about the game probably mm -hmm. and uh, better communication than me. Uh, And I think I'm a little bit better mechanically than him, but like that has like pros and cons. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's better to put him in, sometimes it's better to put me in. And uh, I'm really happy working with him. Mm -hmm. He's like the nicest guy ever. So I never was in like 10-man roster before, but this is like a really nice uh, uh, thing, thing to, uh, to see. Mm -hmm. And like uh, I'm lear learning a lot from, from this uh, uh, cooperation with Hikyu. Is there anyone in your team that is not happy with having this roster? I don't think so. Like I think everyone's like really happy in our team. Like uh, we are dunking out every day, and everyone's like uh, liking each other. There's no one really who's outside of the team, so that's really good. We're close to each other. Mm -hmm. So how are the screams? Like, do you train all together, five v five, uh, scream with other people too? How is it? Yeah, we are mixing up the rosters. Like, depends. In the, the depends. Like, if, if I'm uh, I'm already like uh, decided to play, then I'll play more screams. But Hiku is still like playing, sharing screams mm -hmm. with us, so he, he has a chance. And it's the same with our top laners. So basically, we are we are like playing seven man roster and mixing up uh, the stuff and see what works the best. Last day, I talked with Vander, and I asked him if it was true that Forgiven knock at your door to play with Rogue. Uh, what do you think about that? What do you put that face? <laughs> I mean, Vander is just really hungry for likes on Twitter, so whenever Forgiven writes something, he will <laughs> just, you know. Was he lying? Yeah, I mean, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it will be really awkward. Like, Forgiven is really a big friend of mine, mm -hmm. and we talk uh, a lot with each other, so. He calls me his son, basically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's pre pretty, I guess, big achievement for me, but uh, it would be really awkward if he was to replace me. So <laughs> 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 well, that's, that's why I'm working hard every day, and uh, mm -hmm. I think it'll be good. 
So do you learn something from him? Like yeah, he's for sure. a good really good player. Like back so back in 2015 already like I learned so much learning against him and talking with him. I think I have uh, a little bit similar player but he's more consistent player than me. Mm -hmm. But uh, I hope I I'm, I'm going to go to the cons like get more consistency as well as a player and yeah. That's really important for mm -hmm. me right now. So, okay, today you lost, yesterday you won against uh, Vitality, right? Yep. Um, what's happening to Vitality? D what do you think is happening to them? I think they focus too much on the micro aspects and not on the macro. Like, they're not playing good League of Legends uh, like on the map, but as well, their players are performing really bad individually, I think, recently. Like, you can s see on the yesterday game, I mean, stuff that shouldn't happen, like Sonatari getting a first blood, right? So, I mean, if this stuff happens, then you can't win the game or you can't be a good team, you know, if this stuff keeps happening. So they need to, like, talk to the players or maybe make roster changes, I don't know. Like, mm -hmm. I think like, it, their Chinese bootcamp didn't work out uh, at all, and that's, like, really worrying for them, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as a prediction, where do you think you're gonna be? Because it's true that you are 2-2 right now, uh, but you maybe won uh, the two less successful uh, teams right now. Mm -hmm. So, are you going to be able to win even the biggest? Yeah, I mean, we we are we have the mindset where we can <coughs> beat anyone, right? And like uh, every game counts, so you can't lose to really bad teams because. It's really important, like it's best of one system, so you always have to win basically. So consistently matters and well we'll respect like every enemy and I think we can we can take chance from uh, every team in the LEC. Like it's not like I mean maybe people think G2 are uh, unbeatable, but they will bleed as well, you know, like it's really hard to stay on top and be the f the first place team all the time. Like at some point people are learning more than you are if you're yeah. just keep winning. So I mean I hope we, we Obviously, we go playoffs, but I, I would rather be like uh, more on the top of the table than in the middle. Mm -hmm. That would be like the best. I mean, it's our first season, so I don't expect us to go like top two, of obviously, but anything under that is really nice. Like, uh, I mean, if we do, uh, if we do uh, improve so hard, like we can even go top two to top one, obviously, but that's the case with every team, right? Yeah. So, like, if I want to be realistic, I'm just aiming for like top top three, four. Like, mm -hmm. it will be the best. Nice. So, is there anything you want to say to the community? Uh, thanks for the, all, all the Spanish fans for the support. Uh, uh, it's really nice. I see that we, Rogue has a lot of them actually mm -hmm. in the community. So, yeah, I'm really grateful, and I I like the L LVP. Uh, I watch it a lot actually. Mm -hmm. uh, there's like a a lot of nice uh, casters. <laughs> yeah. I like the casters actually the most. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for the support, guys. Thank you. So, eso ha sido todo, chicos. Espero que os haya gustado esta entrevista. Esta y muchas más en el canal de YouTube de Sport Maníacos. Hasta luego.